Welcome back to Shitchin and welcome back to the garage. I thought I'd investigate the old um, juddering disc on the front of the cut down today. So we're going to uh, check a few things, starting with the tyre pressure. And then see if the disc is warped. And then if it is, obviously we're looking to have to replace it. So I've got the cut down on the ramp. We'll, uh, we'll pull this out. There we go. So that uh, we can have a nice free spinning wheel. In fact, I'll just put that down here for the minute. Whilst we pull the scoop. Right. There we go. So I did notice that the old uh, tire pressure was a bit low on this. So we're going to pump it up and then spray some water around it. But we'll spray some water around it now and see if we've got. an air leak anywhere when the tyre's not seated properly okay, let's have a look oh, I can't see nothing that side let's have a look at this side got a slight little puncture well not puncture it's not seating properly there on the rim let's see if there's anywhere else no can't see anywhere else so what we're gonna do is we're gonna deflate the tire and put some gunk inside it and hopefully that will uh, will seal that as we ride it and then we won't have an issue with uh, the tyre slowly going down. Okay, so tyre pressure gauge, valve removing tool and Joe's No Flats mountain bike sealant, which will do the job's a treat. So basically this stuff here, just like any other tyre tire sealant, as soon as it comes into contact with air, it will con congeal and then block the hole. Let's uh, let the tire down and put this stuff in. So we're going to undo the valve here. Get your valve tool, which is specially shaped. There you go. And then, as you twiddle it, one valve on flat tyre and obviously there's water all over it so I'm going to give it a clean back in a minute. I'm going to need two hands to do this so this has got a tapered cap which fits straight into that hole and what I'm going to do is push the sealant in like so And that's not quite the whole bottle, but most of it's in. And then wipe off all this crap that you spill. Put the valve back in. Back to I see that here. Yeah. over tighten that now we'll pump it up okay put some air in that 
I'll just check the pressure in a minute. Put a spin so that they can coat the wheel. So ideally, you go for a ride now and make sure that this really gets coated around the wheel to seal it. So I'm going to check the disc, so I'm not going for a ride just yet, but spinning it will help. Okay, so that's the uh, the tyre we're sealing in it. Now I want to check this disc. I don't know if you can see it, so I'm going to use this as a fixed point, which is the bolt. And I'm going to do it by eye and see if I can see it oscillating. I can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Oh, I've got a white paint marker. Always handy to have. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little tiny mark. Oops. Well, it's a little tiny mark. A mark on here so you can tell which bolt it is. We'll go one, two, three, four, five bolt. So we know it's five bolt, what's written on it? Three millimetre, minimum thickness. Uh, right, so, okay, five bolt we've got to order. So it's a couple of days later, because so I had to order the bits and they've turned up today. We've got ourselves a new uh, five hole brake disc. Ta-da! Which I'm gonna have to clean. But whilst I was out, I thought we'd uh, we convert it to anti-dive. I'm a big fan of anti-dive, so I've got an anti-dive kit as well. So, we'll get the disc off, um, fit the new one, and then have a go at fitting the anti-dive. So in order to take the front wheel out, we have to undo this nut, which will then release the washer behind it, which holds it into the drum links. And this would normally be a nut as well, but on my one, it's a bolt. It's important to make sure that you keep the wheel centered in between the forks in the correct place. At the same time, we're going to undo these two nuts, bolts even, um, and obviously drop the caliper out so we can get the whole thing out. Uh, speedo drive will come off as well, and then we can change the disc. So that's the wheel and tire off the hub, which reveals this. On my particular one, I've got a bolt going through the centre. Normally you'd have a, uh, a shaft, but this has got a bolt and a nut washer on each end now these washers which i'm struggling to get off here are very important because they locate your shaft into the links so they've got to be the right washer right thickness right everything so it fits exact so there's one on each side as i say mine's got a bolt going through it with a spacer for some reason we'll pull that out and then uh, we'll be able to change the disc so on this particular hub someone's modified it by drilling this plate, which is the back plate that links into the tab for the uh, for the drum link and bolted it to the speedo drive. Um, the speedo drive comes off like this. I have to give it a little clean because obviously as you can see that grease that's in there is about a million years old. So we'll have to clean all that while we're at it. It's just a case of undoing these five bolts, taking it off, giving the disc a clean, giving everything a proper clean so that uh, it's not all manky. And then um, I guess getting rid of the, God knows how many years of crud that's built up around it. We'll clean all of this, re-grease it. In fact, I have got a new one, so I could put a new one in it, but we'll uh, we'll see what it comes up like. And then we'll refit it along with the anti-dive, which I'll show you about in a bit. Try to give it a clean and get rid of all those years of crud. An old brake cleaner. When we put the new disc on, we'll also clean out a brake cleaner to make sure that uh, everything works how it should. So I've just put the discs side by side just to make sure that they're roughly the same depth from here to here and they virtually are identical. But the one thing you'll notice straight away is that these holes are different to these holes. So these have been countersunk and these are flat so the choice I've got is 
original bulbs that came out do have a taper on them so I can countersink this so it fits or I can find some new bolts that are flush right so that's all back together I'm still not sure on the uh, countersunk bolts they are a little proud but saying that I've just checked 78 and uh, that has different bolts that sit quite proud so we're going to fit this back in the hub put the anti-dive on and just offer it all up and make sure it all fits and lines up correctly right so first problem we've run into is the anti-dive fits all right but the original bracket for some reason was modified to shift the caliper over so it fitted properly and of course because this is supposed to just bolt straight onto here uh, it doesn't fit at all so we're going to bin the anti-dive for the minute put it back together with the standard disc and go from there that's it's all built back up in its original guise and it all fits and works perfectly and the disc doesn't oscillate anymore so that's all good news so next thing is to take it all apart again put the wheel on and torque everything up bolt everything up tight and then we're good to go right that's all back together everything's torqued up as it should be all the wheel nuts are done up spins nice and i'm guessing it's not going to warp anymore we'll find out sunday when we go out for a ride right so that's going to be it for this one give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you next time Thank you.